Well, thanks a lot. So the Yankees have finished a very successful season. There is absolutely no denying that. But do they have to win the World Series to make it a real successful season? Well, I think we all know we live in a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately sports world. You know, I personally, I think it's been a great season. Nothing's going to happen between now and the end of the year to uh, take away from that. But we all know what, how teams are judged at the end of the day. There's only one happy team at the end of this. Everybody else has that negative feeling going away. And that's why you get up in the morning. That's why you go to spring training, that you try to be the last team standing. And believe me, that's on everybody's minds. Do you think it's more so with the Yankees because of the legacy of George Steinberg who said if we don't win the World Series the season's a failure? I, you know, certainly that was a part of it, but that's not what drives guys. Guys want to get up. They want to be a part of that. They want to be not watchers. They want to be participators. They want to be put on that stage and be put in that arena and that microscope. And I think that's where they're still operating from. Well, in spring training, the Yankees set as one of their goals they wanted to win the American League East. They were tired of going through that cauldron of the wild card game. But the wild card game gives you a game to play either on Tuesday or Wednesday. The Yankees, after today, they don't play again until Friday. Those four days off, Buck, what do they do? Well, first of all, we'll leave that in Aaron's hands. He's made a lot of great decisions this year. But I think he'll, they'll end up giving them Monday off and probably Tuesday, Wednesday. The, the, the workout the last day is kind of like a dress rehearsal you know your advanced scouts it actually gives you some time it's probably one more day than you'd like you'd like to have it somewhere in that three range because you're traveling a little bit you got an off day you want to get your advance reports try not to get overthink it which is very uh, you're susceptible to this time of year you know let's keep in mind how we got here but also understand how different the postseason is it's a whole different cat it's it's every game is like the seventh game you got to try to win that game and worry about tomorrow tomorrow if you get too far ahead of yourself it'll bite you now you've told me this a long time baseball players are, are creatures of habit they're used to playing every single day so the four days off you know Monday probably being an off day Tuesday and Wednesday being workouts or sim games how intense can the sim games get and how can they simulate real baseball they can't okay you know, really the, the off days after the all-star game are more challenging than these they've been playing too long and that's why guys like you see Stanton and, and if uh, and Carnacion can come back. It shouldn't be that big a deal this late in the year because you've got too much uh, training and uh, physically you just are you're repeating things. I don't worry about the days off this time of year. And guess what? Minnesota's got the same challenge, so nobody's got an advantage over anybody. Now let's talk about the Minnesota Twins. This is a good Twins team. Now you look at the history. The Yankees have always dominated the Twins, but that's your father's Twins team. This is a different Twins team. A big home run hitting team. The bullpen's pretty good. Starting pitching maybe a little bit short. What do you see in the Twins? What are the biggest challenges? Well, I think, you know, I think the home run, if you dwell too much on the home runs with the Yankees and the Twins, you're going to miss it. Good pitchers don't give up a lot of home runs, and good pitchers are in the postseason. So don't think for a second that this is they're just going to hit six or seven home runs tonight because I think they're going to go with two starting pitchers. I don't think they're going to use three. I think you're going to see a lot of bullpen work. They got a left-handed closer, which is always good, that doesn't play necessarily well against the Yankees because they're so right-handed. But they're good defensive teams. Teams that are good defensively are the ones, if you look at all 10 teams, they're above average defense, and I think people miss that. Minnesota's going to catch a baseball. I love Nelson Cruz. He brings a lot of things to that club that they were in need of, and uh, it's a little engine that could. Well, it all starts on Friday at Yankee Stadium. It should be a great American League Division Series. Back to you.